um, why, why were you here? Oh, so, um, so we're with Police Protection Services, and one of our roles is we look after the embassies and the High Commission. Oh, you didn't like my sticky tape. We had a complaint oh. from the British High Commission. Okay, fair enough. It can, can it come in writing, please? Uh, I'm not really prepared to deal with it if it's not in writing, so, oh, okay, it, so I, I'm not I'm not wanting a verbal instruction or anything like that. So, but I, I thought it was talking about because I had a problem outside my no, house no, last no. night, a quite a bad one with no. the local contractor making paint lines at eleven o'clock at night okay. and refusing to leave. Basically, did you make a complaint? To I didn't. I made a complaint to them and I asked them to leave, and eventually they did, but it took oh. them a long time. Okay, no, I have... and I like because I'm a Julian Assange activist. Okay. That's what I was doing corrupt on the fence for. Right, right. Because. Okay. Um, well, this will just be really quick. I just, I'm just here basically to advise you that. To you're be careful. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna be officially warned, okay? okay. Because the property's been damaged, the tape has actually left marks on the yep. fence. Yeah. Oh, I'm aware there was old it's, marks on the fence, exactly. and I've seen, I've seen like years of graffiti on that fence. In yeah. fact, the polyester powder coating hasn't been maintained, right. and therefore, so this, the metal is very, very susceptible to damage. So, if the British High Commission would actually do their job and maintain it, it would be a nice shiny surface. I just stuck ticky, sticky tape on it. And chalk. Uh, yeah, oh, chalk. Yeah, what's what's with, with the chalk? You're with Gregan's How come system? chalk is actually like doing something to metal? Like I, who who knew? Exactly. <laughs> but but the, the point of the matter yeah. is is that the, the property has been damaged. Yeah. Okay. It's not, yeah. Uh, Can we go with some activists and do a clean up job, like um, help paint? Um, uh, well, potentially. Um, at this stage, part of my job is really just to Morning. to speak with you. Yeah, yeah. No, you've been very you. nice, and I, um, I respect that. And just don't go back there and do that again because. Okay. What, what, what level of engagement to make them notice and leave a message could we do? Because they won't have a meeting with me and I'm a British citizen, so that's of interest. I've got a trespass order from the PA of my local MP and I've been banned from Parliament, so how would I, at this time, engage with my political class? Unfortunately, I, I'm not, I, I give you okay. advice yeah, and counsel about how okay. you do and don't do your protests. I know, but I respect that you've been very polite and yeah, I do, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, so please but, but don't do, go back and do retain that. your humanity when you're thinking about what the causes are underlying this the war and the freedom of press that we're losing our ability to tell truth. Again, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not in the position to take any sides or give you my opinion on that on that side of things. Okay. But um, damage has been caused, so okay. I do need to, to caution you. Yep. Um, Can I have a piece of paperwork? Oh, well, I will. So, I, so, I'm, so, I'm not going to so, actually accept that you've given me a charge of any kind of I'm warning. Not you. No, 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 no. But I'm not going to actually absorb it in because I've had three days of okay. no sleep doing my campaign. Oh, okay. okay um. So just quickly, if you let me finish. Okay. So just quickly, we will send you a letter, official letter, in the post. Yeah. Um, to to your address here. Is this the right postal address for you? Yep. Please be nice and humane in your dealing of the law with protesters, won't you? I mean, you're being very polite now, but I've been long term where it's oh, yeah. going right oh. now in this world where we're seeing all the violence yeah. and like a person who did a Facebook post, pregnant, got taken in by Melbourne police. Um, all over the world there's some pretty Orwellian stuff and I just want police to re retain their humanity and you, you know you don't have to actually start doing anything criminal for your power right you'd never actually cross the constitutional type of human rights laws would you promise no okay great that's all i just wanted to hear that good. Um, what about you you're the same yeah so you have can no i have a you, you card have no or number yeah you're good you have no intentions of going back there to do writing on their fences and um, sticky tape and all I'll just things. stay away from fences. any kind of contact of the yeah, embassy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The buildings and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. So just on the other people that no be... fixed abode lives in a van. Lives so, in a van. Yeah. Do you know how I can get hold of that? No. no. Yeah. No. No idea, Rex. Right? Because he lives in a van. I can't remember the license plate. So no. Right. Okay. Yeah. You happy to provide me with your email address so I can send you some documentation as well? Wall, you'll get all the information you need. This is not a normal procedure, is it? It is not at 10 30 at night. The motor is going, you've got a generator. What are you doing?
Yeah, so we are at the British High Commission um, in Wellington after our protest. Just a couple of us have come here and unfortunately it looks like metal doors stain when you chalk them. Um, we've just started to chalk it back in so you might be able to see it, but we've just found warmongers written on the fence here still very faintly and I think we might just um, go over that with some tape that's yellow and black so we might just reinforce that but it is a bit unfortunate we didn't know that chalk permanently damaged what is it a zinc gate or color coded still not sure um, but anyway it seems to have very badly been affected by our innocent chalking that's a shame isn't it but uh, British High Commission Wellington post protest chalking of the streets going on unfortunately as it's a holiday no one's here in this corrupt institution this corporation warmongering embassy I'm a British citizen but I've never been able to get in here to talk to anyone I think about 20 25 people mustering now um, there's a few people sitting over there in the distance in the cafe you can see through the people there's the free Julian the very original sign there with Kay <laughs> great sign. and you got Paul Bruce there who outside New Zealand's Parliament was told after 40 50 years of activism and a Green Party councillor that he can't collect signatures from other supporters which we then subsequently followed up and found out was completely, obviously, uh, unlawful. Um, right, so I'm just going to walk over and get and see if I can get a crowd of people together for a group photo. This is Layla, amazing documentary filmmaker, budding, budding. We've got Socialist Equality Group, and we've got. Green Party ex-councillor, <laughs> we've got all sorts of people from, yeah, you just take the whole lot if you can, oh no, I'll take that, okay. Um, we have two billboard signs that have been on the motorway this morning, every five cars honked or waved their arms and that is just unprecedented, so n word is getting through eventually, not from the legacy media of course, and here is a little out group and the original Free Julian sign from 2018. And Kay Weir, who passionately writes letters in Dominion Post and often speaking on anti-war causes. And she's brought a couple of um, supporters here today, which we're very, very glad of. And it's a beautiful day in Wellington. We've got quite a lot of people mustering now. It's a really lovely day. Um, and after the motorway this morning with so many beeps, it's just very encouraging all round. So we have some beautiful signs up on the waterfront now, just panning around. We've got about, I don't know, 14, 15 people now. We've got more saying they're coming shortly, uh, which is not bad because we're in total holiday mode here in uh, New Zealand. Um, this is a public holiday even though it's Monday. I don't know about the rest of the world, but uh, yeah. So we've got this beautiful sign, Wellington waterfront in the background. We've done the motorway drop this morning, which was unbelievable um, in terms of cheering you up about support and people being awake. It's just such a difference from 2018, I can't even tell you. Um, really proud of what Free Assange New Zealand have done to spread the word around the world. Um, we are, of course, crippled by censorship, uh, as all Assange supporters are. Um, but if you want to hear about truth, the first place to go is journalists that report on Julian Assange, that they've reported on the torture and persecution, that they've reported on the trial events, and they've done it accurately. And if you follow those type of journalists, you're going to end up with a, a much better picture of what's going on in the world um, than anyone else, I posit. Um, Nonpartisan is the way to be in this broken democracy. Um, signing out again. Yeah.
Oh uh, yeah, not allowed to speak? Yeah, we can. Okay. <laughs> Just singing it to They were chasing him yesterday, <laughs> and he had to fight to throw himself away. He had to take extreme caution, yet caught they were very strong. See, for an outsider who doesn't yeah, know no music, no, no, no. no, I mean, does that make sense? For an outsider who doesn't know music, it's like fucking amazing. 